Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be talking about LEGO Technic Gears. To be specific, I'll be talking about gear ratios, how they affect torque and speed, and finally, how the gears allow energy to move through. Without further ado, let's start the video. Let's start by talking about how gears work. On each gear, there are spikes or gaps. These spikes or gaps can connect to other gears. Then, from there, you can add an energy input like a motor or a crank. Once energy is inputted into the first wheel, it starts spinning, and if there are other gears connected to that gear, then all those gears will move. The crank or the motor is the input, and the gears give the output to something else like the tires of a bike. The gear that is connected to the input is called the driver, and the gear or gears that are connected to the driver is called the driven. All gears can give off energy, but combined, combining different gears give you different numbers. Let's move on the gear ratios. Gear ratios are when you overlay how many teeth one gear has over another. This only works with two gears. If you have more than two gears, then you need to do this with two gear sets at a time. These sets can overlap like this. Now, let's start. If you have one gear with 15 teeth and the other with 45 teeth, then the ratio is 3 to 1, or 1 to 3 depending on which way the gear is. If your 45 tooth gear is first, then the ratio is 3 to 1, and if the 15 tooth gear is first, then the ratio is 1 to 3. If the output gear is bigger than the input gear, the mechanism will have more torque. To a small model like this, it is useless, but for a bike or vehicle, it is. Torque is a force at a distance that allows movement. The more torque you have, the more you can spin. On the other hand, if you put the input, if the input gear is bigger than the output gear, your mechanism will have more speed. And finally, if your output and input gears have the same ratio, then you will have an even amount of speed and torque. Let's talk about how energy moves through these LEGO gears. Like we said, it all starts with the input. In our case, it can be a crank or motor. Since the crank is connected to a gear, when the crank turns, the gear turns with it. If any gears are connected to the driver, then those gears will be driven or move as well. In this system, the crank is the input because it is giving energy. The gears carry the energy and the output could be something like movement or anything else that involves energy. Gears can also change the direction of the flow of energy. By using a bevel gear, you can change the direction of a gear by 90 degrees in any direction. This can also be used to move the direction of a set of gears and also in mechanisms, they are built in tight spaces. One of the most common places a bevel gear is used is in a differential gear. This is a gear that is at the bottom of the car that allows both the back's tires to spin at a different rate. It is a bevel gear connected to gears that allow both tires to spin at different rates. Now, we have talked about the LEGO Technic gears. We have talked about how they work, what they are used in, and how they transfer energy. If you guys like the content that I make here on this channel, then please consider subscribing by turning that red subscribe button into a gray one, liking, and hitting the bell button. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!